Hi, welcome to Raj Elnai. In today's video, we are going to discuss about uh, how to create test cases and all everything for uh, any of the project, especially using uh, Jira as a project management tool. Uh, in the previous videos, I have, cre I have created a video on uh, uh, test cases, but how you can extract test cases from uh, Jira, from other tools and all everything is what we have learned. It was, there is a video earlier. Uh, I'll give, I'll give a link of that video in the uh, description box uh, uh, here so that you can see that. But here today I'm going to explain you how to create a test case, right? How to write a test case, especially whenever we are working for uh, uh, any project. Uh, so using a, a tool called Jira. So for that, I have taken a project for e-commerce website. You know, e-commerce is a website which is being used for us to uh, the do the billing and all everything. So for that, we need to write down the test cases for that. So if you want to write a test case, first of all, we have to mention the name over here. This is the first thing. Followed by this, uh, whatever the objective and all everything we have to write. Followed by this, preconditions has to be mentioned. So I am clicking a uh, type and all everything. Here I am taking login. Okay, Login or registration is what generally the test case for this particular functionality I am taking. Login registration is the functionality. So this is what as a test case I am taking. Now, what is an object here? Objective is to user has to register as well as login to do shopping using this e-commerce website, right? So this is what generally an objective. So what is an objective here? An objective is to user has to register or log in to do the shopping using this e-commerce website is what generally the objective was. Now, so what must be the preconditions here? These are the preconditions. The first precondition as follows. Test for valid username and password. This was the first one because whenever we are doing testing, we must test the valid username and password. This is the first one. Second one test. Forgot password and reset password functionality. So this is also one of the uh, one of the precondition which we have to be considered with. Because whenever a person wants to log in, first of all, he has to, he or she has to provide a username and password that has to be validated. There are some possibilities. Sometimes they might have forgotten so that uh, they have to retrieve that. That is required as well. Next, we need to validate if user is registered or not because for example whenever you want to use a website an e-commerce website whenever there is an option called sign in and login right so if you click on login even though you have not signed in what it will ask you you are not the user right so you have to sign in first so once you have signed in automatically login details can be given so that the system has to validate if the user is registered or not is also the thing right and if not if not, we need to provide an option to create an account. 
acculturation is required because layman perspective think from a layman perspective that a layman of course nowadays everybody are aware of but think a layman perspective a person has not registered right to that website what will happen automatically it will show you an option to sign into the account first then only login process if the login was done automatically uh, uh, using login credentials people can log in right so this is one thing next so the login screen by default for registered user, right? So once a person is already, a person who has already logged in, automatically default uh, login screen will be uh, shown to the particular person who is logging in. Next fifth point is that all the fields are mandatory because whenever you are signing and signing up to the, any of the system, if you remember, there will be some a star mark, right? We can see the star mark over there that uh, these are mandatory fields. Right? Some are mandatory fields. Some are mandatory. Those are mandatory. You have to provide. So the remaining, if it is not star mark, can we consider that that is not mandatory, right or not? So mandatory is also important because some projects, whenever we are working on, whenever we are signing up, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, it will ask you some mandatory fields like username or password or valid email account or valid registered mobile number. These are the valid uh, important fields which has to be mandatory fields which has to be filled by the user then only because authenticity you have to see because whether a person is authenticated and authorization how on what basis system will accept system for example sometimes whenever you give your user id user ID, for example your mobile number was given automatically you get a otp to your registered mobile number so once you have given that registered mobile number that otp into the website then only that will register right so this is all for the security purpose that person is doing an individual who has who is having valid account details who is having valid email id phone numbers and all everything is using this website right so for that purposes all these things are required so further these are the preconditions which has to be updated and which has to be mentioned over here so once we have mentioned here we need to mention the start uh, status draft or depreciated or approved assume that this test case is approved, for example, right? Assume that, right? It was approved. And what kind of priority? For example, this is a high level priority because login registration is something common and it is important also. So we have taken high priority. If there is any components which are already created so that we can select the component and who is owner here? So myself is the owner. Of course, I have created it. And how many hours or how many minutes it will it be taken? For example, if there is any, uh, let's say, for example, three hours, it will be taken. Let me put you this way. Right? For example, three hours is the estimated time. Assume that it is on hours, right? So that also we can create. Next, registration page, right? So if folder, this is under the registration page, whatever the test case I am creating, right? So whatever the login registration, done, this is all comes under the registration page. If there is any labels and all everything, we can add those labels. Otherwise, we can simply click on save so that you can see over here. See, test case for ECWC T7 login registration has been created. Right. So this is what and how usually these uh, test cases and all everything is what we will be writing for any of the project whenever we are working on which of whichever the project we are working because we have an option called jiffer scale this is the jiffer scale here this is a tool which can be connecting with jira so once we have connected what we can do automatically we can write uh, test cases and all everything in this uh, using this jiffer scale and all everything so that so based on the test cases what was written and all that yeah, based on the test cases, whatever we have written all that. So those test cases will be 
taken care of by the automation team. Subsequently, do the functional testing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If they feel everything is fine, fine. You, you can see, right? Registration page, which login test case I have created, where it was approved. Of course, this is the just for a sample purpose I have created. Just ignore it. Okay. This is for the login registration. So if you want to write test case directly using Jira, whenever we are working on application development, this is how we have to write. Otherwise, we have an option here. You can see, right? So create test cases in bulk, right? So you can create. In the last video, I have shown that. You can simply do it. That also there. But how to write test cases manually, if you know, so that it is, you will have knowledge. These are all which I have extracted. These are all which I have extracted using this test case in a bulk all that. But now what is that I did is this one, this user story I have written as direct, right? I have written and I have shown you, right? So this is what I have shown you, how to create test case and all for a particular functionality, whatever. I have taken login registration as a functionality and this is how generally we have to write. I hope you got an idea how to write test cases for any of the project using Jira all that. If you have any queries, if you have any questions in regard to that, followed by this, if you have any training or coaching needs, please reach out to the contact details, which will be provided in below to this video. Thank you.